here in my garage. Just kidding. Blur this out over here. Blur this completely out. I don't even want them to see them. Those are the wheels for the S14. How y'all doing? It's me, your boy Cookie. Y'all good? Everybody straight? This bit right here needs some service. And this bit right here also got an exhaust coming. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm going to put it on today, but it is coming. Shout out to Valtronic. The boys sent me. Ooh, I ain't even going to tell you yet, but they sent me some space. So I'm going to take this to the shop right now, get it serviced so that I can properly do my thing when I be doing my thing. When I do my thing, let me do my thing. Ah! Um, sorry. Anyway, yeah, so uh, let's go to the beats, beats. Let's get it. I'm sorry, let's go to the shop. I'm yeah. A few moments later, all right. So, you see that got down cautious high right there, bitch. That means I need a service. I need to get some Earl, it's me and Earl, change Earl, oil, uh, shit. Yeah, that's yeah, mm -hmm. yep. So, I'm not really feeling the greatest right now. I'm a little under the weather. I'm not I see. I don't know why I do that shit, but just love me. Anyway, um, I don't. I still haven't figured out the formula for this channel, bro. Like, uh oh, uh, I had to speed up, and I'm saying get. That's what I like about having a decently fast car. Like, you can get where you gotta get when you gotta get there. You know what I'm saying? But. I'm trying to figure out the formula and the format for this channel, bro. I have so many ideas and so many things that I want to do, but I'm just not doing them, and I don't know why. I have to figure it out, though, because I want to just post on here consistently. Like, everybody everybody that's on this channel loves this content, and I, I just, I don't know, bro. I got to figure it out. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. S14 should be done relatively soon. Like, literally, if not today, then I don't know. I'm going to call them and see. But, uh, yeah, that's just my two cents. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, for, thank you for listening, coming to my TED talk. My teeth look yellow, but white at the same time. How the fuck is that possible? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, baby. Dropping the car off for service. I still don't have this badge yet. I was supposed. Somebody was like, get a badge. It was supposed to be coming in. I just have to see where it is. But I was supposed to have it a long time ago. And um, so yeah, we're getting a service done. I believe that's it, right? Service. And I got down four to seven. So I'm gonna just grab my bag real quick. I'm gonna Uber, go hang out somewhere, and then I'll come back, pick the car up. And then we're gonna figure out the rest of our lives. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna figure out the rest of what we're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Yo, <laughs> yo, I can't stop wearing these shoes. Like, I wear these shoes every single day as if I don't have a, a bunch of other shoes. But I just can't help it. They're the best shoes ever, bro. I might, I gotta get another pair. One more thing, too. I'm doing a clutch delay valve delete. So these cars from stock come with a clutch delay valve. I'll explain more and about what the fuck i can't use english bro i'm not good at it i'll explain more about what it does and how it feels after i take it out but yeah just give, yeah, just give me a second yeah yeah more moments later she's all done i gotta go pay but this little piece of this little thing right here this is the clutch delay valve i don't know how to technically explain what the hell is going on what the what just happened to my what is going on with my okay i don't know how to technically explain what this thing does but it's highly annoying. It's it's basically, it makes everything jerky. You have to be robotically smooth, which I actually became because I had to get used to it. But I heard from a video, I forget the channel name, I'll probably put it on the screen somewhere, that if you take this out, it makes it feel much better. The dudes at the shop, they said it feels much better. So I'm out to see for myself, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I've, I've driven two seconds and I can already tell you that this is amazingly way, way better. Yo, ring, come on, bro. It's way, way better. I can rev match better. I can shift faster. Before, like, I would have to let go of the clutch so slow to get to the fine point where I wouldn't lurch back and forth on the car. This is, I don't know, bro, it's much better. I don't know how to technically explain what's going on, but basically having the CDV is for people that don't know how to drive stick. That's basically it. But uh, wow, let me go drive and enjoy this and I'm gonna holler at y'all a little bit. Even the shifter feels better. What is, nah, bro, why would you put that in these cars, bro? Come on, bro, wow. One one more thing I had to do too was, oh, I'm at fourth, let me put that a second. It's so weird now, I don't have to be so slow on the clutch. Um, one other thing I had to do was uh, when I got my car lowered, these cars have one-time use bolts, basically. You're not supposed to reuse them. So because the people that lowered my car reuse the bolts my strut started squeaking and it was so annoying it just started making this really annoying squeaking noise so my guy that i normally go to is the one that told me that and he told me that initially and i still didn't listen and i still went somewhere else but we got that all sorted out got my new one-time use bolts and uh yeah we're good now no uh no creep
freaking or nothing like that. Somebody just said what up. I guess they knew who I was. <laughs> That's so fire. But anyway, y'all hear that? What the fuck is that? Anyway, yeah. So yeah. All right. So it's been like two weeks since that last clip. The exhaust is finally going on. It's over there. Shout out to Valtronic. Oh my god. I actually got some downpipes as well. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, you're going to tune it? No. What about the check engine light? I got mini cats. That's what that thing is up there. So hopefully they work. Hopefully I don't get a check engine light. Let's go put the bitch on. RPF1 RSs with some cheap ass tires. Hee! I mean, you know, since this is an exhaust video, I might as well give you a cold start, right? You know what I'm I might as well give you a cold start. A little cold. Oh, black cats again. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I wasn't gonna wear the off white files, but black cats. Valve on. Valves open, but I said valves on. Shut up! We got to go put the exhaust on. Probably get some sound clips. I'm so excited. Ah, right, so boom, yeah. We do a few sound clips, a few revs. Low key, I think a, a cop passed by. He might have saw my tripod, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna chill out. That ain't crazy. Not bad for a stock exhaust. I'm not gonna lie, that's not bad at all. You know where we at? Custom and poor performance. About to throw the mid pipe on. I'm actually gonna show you before I put it on. This truck is huge, by the way. But anyway, I hope I got that good. I hope it was good. Every time I go to my trunk, I feel like a drug dealer. And I feel like that one scene in, in Rush Hour when Chris Tucker was like, "Yeah, some gas cops." But that was a blooper. But you get the point. Valtronic Designs mid pipe. Um, I think this is Mad Mastery of Art and Design down pipes. And I got some mini cats from Big Daddy's Garage. I haven't even seen what these look like yet. Let me pull them out and show you, bitch. Hold on. Just so we're clear, this is not how they sent it. There was wrapping and stuff like that, all right? Because Valtronic is pro. I'm going to tell you they're pro because look at how good this looks. Look at this. Look at this little plate right here, bro. I've always wanted a Valtronic. And I got, that's just a, damn. That was a Subaru Outback. It sounded like a damn, had a DCT. But this is amazing looking. This is beautiful. Can't wait to sound, bro. This is gonna sound so spicy, bitch. I don't wanna show you that because I don't know what's on there. And then I'm not really gonna show you the downpipes, but you get the gist of it, baby. Well, I'm trying it, baby. Greg just, he was like, um, he said he watched the last. Whoa, I'm bleeding. What the hell? Boss, that's a serious injury. He said he watched the last video and he was like, you know, we stretch tires too, right? I was like, wait, what? I ain't even know that. Like, I ain't know that. So now, it's a one stop shop. But um, I need a truck, bro. I want a truck. I'll, I need a truck and I need like a trailer. But I don't know what, like I don't know anything about like trucks and like what's the best and what's, the, I understand like I don't know none of that. So like, yeah. All right, so I've never looked under this car ever before ever in life and it looks really sick. That's goes up there. 
This is like my Z under shroud, but it's yo, this is so sick. I don't call it. These cars, man. I'm not gonna lie. But about to slap it on and um see what it sound like. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me get a better image. Just music playing and shit, but oh, that's so dope. That's the stock exhaust, by the way, though. You know what I'm saying? I like it. What the hell? I like it. What'd you see all the resonators and cats and goddamn restrictions about just that? I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm excited. Oh shit. Old down pipes, old mid pipe. Let's see what it looks like. What's it look like? Empty. Ooh, shit. Now, I know what you're saying. Yo, bro, why don't you do it yourself? You're right. Again, I just, I don't know. They actually had to cut it. They had to cut the sock exhaust. And what the fuck do I have to cut with? I ain't, and plus I would have messed up the measurements and shit. I ain't doing it, brother. So mind your business. But yeah, down pipes, mid pipe, this shit. So honestly, this shit should sound insane, but I'm very curious as to how it's actually gonna sound. I'm really excited to see. And um, it should sound different than any other M4. There's only one M4 that I heard sound the way that I hope it's gonna sound. So we're gonna see. Shout out to Bell trying to eat. All right, just a little side by side. They were looking at all the lack of restriction, the single mid pipe. This brace is so sick. I love like high quality shit like this like i just love it and then you got the down pipes at the front stock versus not stock catted versus this is still catted it's just so because it's cat because it's um anyway like look at it bro look 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 that's so sick man I think this is gonna sound insane. The only thing is I still have the stock box, right? The stock rear box, which I kind of wanted to keep because I kind of wanted the stock look. It's gonna restrict a lot of the sound, but I think it's gonna be cool. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Look. Can somebody let me know if this is like practical for towing, bro? Because I would, I would love something like this. Like this is insane, but just for the simple fact that like it's bigger than me, bro. I love, yo, I love it, bro. But is it practical for towing? Because I feel like it's so high up. Could I have like the tow hitch like extended down with that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, somebody, uh, let me know, baby, please. But I would love, love this, wow. Just a quick brief update, you know what I'm saying? We in here, Valtronic, oh man. Single mid pipe, this should sound epic. Oh my God. Wait, one more, one more, one more. Shit. All right, first start. I'm excited and nervous. Valves are open. My heart. Oh my God. All right, so it doesn't sound the way I thought it would, but it sounds amazing regardless. What the fuck? Y'all, I'm um, let's do the drive by real quick again, and then we're gonna. Oh. All right, valves open. I mean, valves closed ramps, valve open ramps. M2 rip, I gotta do it in M2, I got to.
bro. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. This shit sounds ridiculous. Valtronic? Just a mid pipe, bro. Mid pipe and a down pipe. I thought it was gonna sound a different way, but I love how this sounds, bro. This car needs to, it has to sound like that, bro. I gotta do a POV drive. That's gonna be another video. I'm gonna just do a POV drive where it's just pure noises. I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna enjoy the whole ride home. <laughs> Alright, bro. I know you hear the song in the background. I'm turning it down. Like the camera, the sun is in my face. Bro, this car, it's still kind of tame though. Like the sound is still, let me put this down. It's still like kind of tame, kind of manageable. Like it's not C loud, and that's what I want. Like at any moment, I could just downshift. And just, and it blurbles, and it just, wow. And it sounds crazy on the outside, I already know. I hope the footage is good. Like I hope. I always do that afterwards because I never really know, you know, until post, until editing. But, um, wow. Wow. I'm in love, bro. I'm really in love with the car if I wasn't out. Uh. <laughs> bro. Fan. My guy. This shit screams. Oh, my. Yo. First of all, I hear more boosty boy noises. I hear more boosty spool. Not necessarily a blow off or anything, but I hear spool. It feels more peppy, feels peppier. I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm amazed, I'm very happy, I'm very amazed. I think I'm gonna just continue this video into the next day because tomorrow I'm gonna put the seat in the S14 or at least see how we're gonna do a, a custom bracket or whatever. And I think I'm gonna roll the fenders and maybe put the wheels on. So maybe this will all just be one video, but yeah. And then another thing is um, I'm gonna do another video, a POV drive. Noises, bro. I need noises. I'm a oh man, wow, doing good. Hola, hoy soy daughter. I'm sorry, how y'all doing? Um, this is the next day, I believe. I think yeah, it's the next day. I'm going back to try out the seat, and I just got back from a great meeting. I'm in a great mood. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go try the seat, see how it fits. This might make it to the video, this might not, because I think I want it to be purely an exhaust video, but I guess maybe vlog yet. I don't know, whatever. Again, shout out to Valtronic. This this exhaust, bro. Oh, let me see. It's incredible. Yo, this, it makes me feel like my car is like the best thing on the road, bro. I can't lie. It feels like the best thing on the road, and I feel so cool, and I don't know. And it's weird, because my windows don't look tinted on this camera, but they are. You can't really see it. But, about to go to the crib. I think I'm gonna take the passenger seat out, put that seat in, take it, see how it's gonna, you know what I'm saying, see what we're gonna do, and then figure it out from there. And, yeah. It's just so rowdy. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it so much. Shout out to Valtronic again. Thank you so much. Wow. Just a mid pipe and a down pipe. Stock box. Whoa! Well, well, well. If it isn't a non... Well, damn. It's still a little bit dirty. A not-so-dirty S14. There's a fucking spider. Why is there... Bro, I just drove this car two days ago. What's going on, bro? I need to invest in a car cover. Recommend me some good car covers. You know what I'm saying? For the winter and all that. But let's give you a nice hard start. Gah. Gah. Go, God. Oh, I'm gonna need some of that gas. I smell some of that. I gotta actually check the gas and see if I have gas. Actually, let's do that. I'm gonna do that on camera before I eat it. Let me show y'all what I gotta go through because I don't have a gauge. So you open the trunk, right? You pop the trunk. What's all this like dust and dirt? What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? Pop that bitch, turn that bitch. <gasps> Pull that bitch. We pretty good on gas. Pretty good. I'm probably gonna go get some, but it's not like, ooh, I'm so worried. And I'm pretty sure the left rear left tire probably gonna be a little flat. Yeah, it is. So, mind you, again, I just drove this car like two days ago because the quad POV video was about two days ago. Let that that down. Fuel prime. Ready? Three, two, one. better than it used to be 
I have another shift knob as well. I have a Tomei shift knob, but I'm kind of feeling this. Let me know what y'all think. I might show you the other one. I might forget, but yeah. All right. So I think I said it before. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to try to get the spacers taken off and the fenders rolled. Might raise the rear a little bit to fit the RPF 1RSs. And it just so happens that the seat actually fits in here. I didn't show you the seat yet. I just showed you the box. I got a Recaro pole position. I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous because I don't know if it's going to fit me properly. I sat in it, but I sat in it again when it got to my house and I don't know. But I know you hear that lifter tick. I think it's lifter tick. Just waiting on this shit and we ready to go. 30 out of 36. I love this car, bro. And I love the M4 so much more now, bro. Oh my goodness. But yeah. <clears throat> Are we recording? Can you hear me? All right, circle, circle, dot, dot. I got my cootie shot. All right, so look, I don't even know what's in the frame. Uh, it's another day, obviously. I am about to attempt to, well, let me back up. My boy Greg, which you're gonna meet him soon, sent me these rails for sale. They were Nasuba side bracket rails. They're apparently supposed to be super duper low. And you know, I'm super duper short, so I need something to accommodate my height. Um, so I'm gonna try to put them in and see what's going on. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna figure it out. That's what we do anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited to be able to, wait, matter of fact, hold on. It's seat time, so I can go get some seat time. Cause, 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 cause seat times. <clears throat> I never showed you guys the seat. I don't wanna take it out yet. You're gonna see it when it gets in the car. If I don't get it in the car today, you're not gonna see it. But uh, let me check the footage and make sure it looks good. All right, so. I know you're not supposed to really record towards the sun, but it still looks good, so eat an ass, eat some ass. Basically, what I'm about to do right now is try to take these seats out, which shouldn't take too long. I don't know if it's a 15 or a 14, but I got both just in case, you heard me. I should probably move the camera closer to me. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let's move the camera closer to me. Ah, so boom, yeah, I don't have a cameraman. Y'all know how I'm doing right now, so. What are your predictions? Do you think this is gonna come off easily? Also, people were telling me I put my carpets in wrong. Somebody put your brain in the wrong bitch, because you obviously don't know shapes and shit but um let's see siri bitch nobody's talking to you yeah. siri nobody's talking to you and nobody mentioned how many phones just pulled out of my pocket it's embarrassing i have three phones and every time i pull them out i think people think i'm a drug dealer and i'm really not so oh that was easy pretty easy i feel like the seats aren't even attached bitch that's so easy for a 96 this should be way harder all right, well, the front is done. <laughs> this is so easy, hold on. See, I work on my own cars. I just don't be paying attention. I'm really hoping that these seat rows are good, bro, because uh, that would be very nice. Very nice, I like. Okay, this is nice. I got a vacuum back here, too. This is kind of nasty. How do I get this off? I'm about to just break it, because I don't need it anyway. I don't want to break it, though. Come on. There we go. Don't give me problems, baby. Please don't give me problems. All right, so um, here comes the stock seat. <laughs> ah, see the M4. Uh oh, see there is things connected to it. I was about to say there's nothing connected to it, but the seat belt would be connected to it, right? So hopefully I didn't just rip it out. But all I have to do is just take this clip off. How do I do it? Should be pretty straightforward. I was gonna say the M4 had like mad stuff. I'm breathing so hard. Sorry. Easy. Stock seat out. How long was that? Three minutes? I'm really a, I'm really like a mechanic car guy. This is what I do in my spare time. Okay. So firstly, let's see how the seat looks in the car. This is sick, man. I love this. You know? I do it so often that like I forget how amazing it is working on my own car, you know. So like I said, I wanted to get a brid or a bride, however you say it. And uh just didn't work out that way. So let's see. That's dirty. I'm about to vacuum this, bro. This is nasty. But <laughs> it looks like the same height. But the difference is there's like a I should be fine. Let's um let's vacuum this, bro. Hold on. But I have a whoa, where's my attachment? What the fuck? Um, also, thankfully, I have like a super duper long extension cord. And while I'm going to go get, yo, I know I'm breathing heavy, I'm sorry. That's about all I'm doing right now, bro. I ain't gonna lie, because I could go sit here and go crazy, but I don't want to do all of that. So 
basically these are the rails. I don't know if you can see them. I mean the brackets. Uh, I'm basically gonna have a fixed position. If these don't work, I'll have something custom fab, but I think they're gonna work. I'm pretty confident. Um, this company is apparently not in America and somebody in Jersey just had them. So I just picked them up again. Greg sent me the link. So let us see how they mop, do mop. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to curse so much. My other channel was getting hit with age restriction and I didn't want to mention it because I didn't want to, I don't know, I just didn't want to say it out loud, but <laughs> I'm gonna say it here because this is, this is personal. This time's for the money, mother. All right, let me open this and I'm, I'm gonna be back at you. Hold on. Yeah, this is easy. This is so easy. Wow. All right, so let me bolt these bad mamma jammas up. Or should I put the seat on first? I might put the seat on first. I might not even need the provided things from Recaro. I don't know. I'm just doing this blindly, baby. Let's see. Let me put this bitch in. So leave me you there. Baby. I wanna see you shake it. I wanna get you naked. Sorry, I don't know why I'm like yelling this song right now. Okay, I'm gonna need the things, obviously. But I gotta make this wire, which I don't even know if I can. Okay, that's good on this side. What about this side? Okay, I don't wanna scratch the seat either. So these have to go on the side of the seat and I actually kind of want them because it says Recaro and it looks kind of cool. But, I don't know. I feel like I'll have a lower seat if I don't have these, you know? But I don't know if I'm supposed to have them. I don't know safety regulations, I don't know protocol, I'm just doing what I'm doing and I'm just trying to figure it out, oh my God. All right, so, okay, let's take this out real quick. So I'm really trying not to hurt my shit. I feel like it already needs to be vacuumed. Let's move some stuff out of my way too. I have to do the same for the other one. <clears throat> Truthfully, I might as well just drive from back here, right? Like I might as well just, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to take this out. I'm gonna just take it out to make it easier. All right, so this is gonna take some trial and error because I have to figure out exactly how wide I need it. So I have to put it back on and it's gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna figure it out. I like this, this is fun. I, like contrary to like me not working on my cars, I actually like putting things together and taking them apart. It's just, I'm afraid of cars because I feel like there's so much more at stake, like your freaking safety. <laughs> so, you know, actually, I think I just messed up. I put it too far forward, see? I'm gonna need a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of straightening, a little bit of time. Yeah, I need to change these sweatpants too, bro, because I'm tripping. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying, all right? I'm learning. <laughs> don't judge me. I also kind of want to speak on the last uh, Forza video. I'm upset at myself because I kind of let somebody get in my head. If you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. That never happens, but I let it happen. And it's never going to happen again. That's all I got to say. I feel like I ruined that video because... I was just talking so much about a fucking pointless comment, you know? I wanted to apologize to you guys because I don't want you to, I don't want you to have to sit through that. All right, so I don't want to scratch it anymore, but again, I kind of want these Recaro things on because I like it, but I also, this would basically take place of this and it'll be too high, bro. I ain't gonna lie, so I can't use these. I, I, I don't know if I'm right or not. Let me know in the comments, but I think I'm right. So does this come with hardware? Cause I'll just use the screws to. Now you've officially been chopped and screwed. It's in the back seat. All right, I should be able to theoretically. Nothing's like secured down. All right, ladies, pop yo like this. I think I got it. I don't know if it's dirty enough to sit on, but I want to test it. So. What I'm gonna do now is sit in it and test it. Let's see, hopefully I don't break shit. Imagine I just break it. I'm scared. Gently, gently. This is actually much better, but still not enough. Damn, I hate being tall sometimes. 
This is much better, but still not enough. Because I'm sitting lower, but my head is still up here. I would not be able to wear a helmet. But this is nice, though. I actually do like this seat. I feel like I have to be over this way a little more, which I don't even think is possible. So we still might need to do something custom. I'm trying to think. I don't know how I look, though. I don't look as ginormous as I did before, right? Because, like, this is actually the perfect driving position. My wrists are right over the, you know? And I actually have kind of some space underneath so I could like left foot break. But honestly, you know what? I have a helmet. Let me go put the helmet on and see if I can fit. Hold on. <laughs> All right, let's throw this helmet on, baby. I don't know if I have like the right padding. I honestly don't even know how to put this on properly. And to put my glasses on is a pain in the ass. But, uh, and like when I'm breathing, I'm like feeling my breath on my damn. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to fit in here. But <laughs> I got a helmet. <laughs> I've never owned a racing helmet in my life. I'm, I'm only getting in this slowly to like avoid breaking anything. I can't fit. Oh no, I can't. No, I can't. There's no way I can't fit. Fuck. That's like uncomfortable. I feel claustrophobic with this shit. Like I keep hitting my head. Ooh, it's kind of protecting me, baby. I can't even. Damn. All right, well, that's not gonna work. God damn, I'm almost I'm about to break something, bro. Oh god. These are the struggles and trials and tribulations of a tall guy. You know, everybody thinks it's all glory. Oh, you know, girls must love it. They do. Oh, you know, you must be able to reach everything. I can, but I can't fit in the cars that I love. And that was always my thing growing up. I was like, oh, I don't want to be too tall because I want to be able to fit in the cars I love. So what I think I'm gonna do. Because honestly, I'm going to run this like this for now. I don't even know if it's safe. I'm going to obviously tighten things down. But I'm going to run it like this for now. And then maybe we could do something custom. I don't, there's no way I can go. Uh, maybe. Because there's one level lower. But the, the seat doesn't get to that, though. I don't know. I'm in recording. I'm going to figure something out. It's going to get dark soon. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna give you an update, all right? Okay, baby, another day, another dollar. Listen, what we're doing today, we're getting a custom for the, you can't even see because it's all the way up here, but like, the seat is not in there. So we're doing a custom little bracket situation and we'll roll these fenders, right? They might be messed up because we're gonna try to pull them a little bit, but I don't really care because I just want to fit some things on this thing. Um, so he's on the other side right now and Greg is over there working on a bracket. So I have the Nasuba but it still doesn't get low enough or far back enough. So we're gonna custom fab that hole. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's not like I didn't know what I was doing. It's because I was, when I was, shut up. But I love this car so much, bro. It's just so good looking. Like, it's just like, oh my God. And I mean, look, this is already kind of messed up anyway. So who really cares, right? This is a missile, it's a drift build. And then I'm gonna repaint it anyway. Like, I don't care. So we just gonna try to pull them holes, take the spacers off the front seat, and we're gonna be Gucci. All right, so check me out, boom, right? None at all, and then watch this. It got a little pull to it, it got a little hips. I like it. This is definitely gonna work, this is definitely gonna fit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> out with the old and in with the new, the pole position. I just saw Jimmy Oaks put a pole position in his 964, and I love you, Jimmy. Love your car. But that's not what this is about. Look at how much more space I have to play, bro. Look, can you see? Oh, it's perfect. Literally gonna fit perfectly. It's flat. And then the front took the spacers out. So much room. Ugh, yes. Yes. All right, so boom, yeah. We're car rolled out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not as ginormous as I normally am in the car, but I'm still huge in here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more we could have done. It's not over, like, you know what I'm saying? I could obviously keep customizing it, making it happen, but it's comfortable for now. It's just, I'm worried about the helmet. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit in here with the helmet. So we're gonna figure that out. But uh, shout out to Greg, man, he did an amazing job. Love that guy, man, what a great guy. His mustache is terrible, I'm just playing. <laughs> I know he's watching, that's why I said that. It's actually, it's a good looking mustache. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really about to go get some food and chill out for the day. I'm gonna put the wheels on probably tomorrow, but I'm gonna just end the video here. So make sure y'all do all the YouTube shit. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications on. You know what I'm saying? TCK4L. I love y'all. Roll to 100K. Get in there. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. What else did I want to say?
Oh, this car is very practical. I got the uh, original seat in here. I got a bunch of stuff down there. You know what I mean? Make it happen. But it's comfortable now, at least, so I can drive it around feeling comfortable. But we got to get it track ready, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I love y'all. Bye! Psych! Wow. Yet another day, yet another dollar. How y'all doing? It's me, your boy, Cool Kid. Video isn't over. I don't know if I'm gonna include the clip where I basically ended the video, but the seat is in. Fits pretty decently. I, I still can't get the helmet to fit perfectly, but if I take the padding out, which I might do during like track days or something, I might be able to fit. Um, also took the spacers off the front. I don't know if you could tell from that angle. I'm gonna show you how I fit in the car, how the seat looks, but I'm trying on the wheel in the rear because we rolled the fenders, which I showed you. So I, if this works, then I'm gonna put the wheels on. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to figure something else out, but I'm a thousand percent sure that it will work. So let's see. Oh, scrape. Great, Tony the Tiger head ass. It really should work though, hold on, let's see. Drop down for me, baby. It works, it's perfect, it's perfect. There's so much space that I can actually go lower. I can go lower. Wow, that's great. Wow, I gotta wipe my nose, I wanna do it off camera. All right, so I'm gonna put the rest of the wheels on and uh, we just gonna rock out. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Worry about shit when you chose my options closed, I don't keep them open. No plan B's, I don't do the hoping. I do know it, I do the growing, I do the reaping. Try and count me out, but I'm so in. Past the limit, and it's more than talk, I put action in it. Now we straight here, I put relax in it. Uh, rose came with curtains, I don't tint it. Sweet. So I have to put this one on that side, but I gotta put a rear on here to make sure it fits. Rear on here, bars. Money, nigga, I don't spend it. Account got a nice balance in it. Uh, I don't start none. I don't finish. It don't work if no challenge in it. Y'all push it out with no talent in it. Uh, it be the same niggas that doubted me. I start winning, they proud of me. They see my mom, they like, how is he? Don't worry about it. I can go and cop a Tesla, the plaid one, no robbery. Yes, yes, I think yes, I think yes. Let me put my hand back there to make sure. Yeah, um, actually, it's like so, it fits. But like here needs to come out more, but it's like not touching the tire. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I think it fits though. It fits here for sure. Um, it's also, I think that's toe or is that caster? I'm not sure, but it could be, I don't know. It fits though, it fits. And it's not as big as I thought it was. I think when I first saw it, it was polarizing because I'm used to the 17s, but it's not that big at all. I'm actually really happy with these wheels, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So let me put the rest on. I'm not gonna record that. I'll just show you the final product and show you the seat and the video will be done, baby. Pretty sure this is a long ass video. Bam. So this looks huge because I'm in 0.5. If I put it in one, still pretty big but it's not it's not huge i love it all of the things that i said before was leading to me saying i don't like it i love it so front easy clearance easy clap this i think i don't know if it's toe or caster but it's like tilted this way so the front is more in and it like barely clears right here but i think we should be fine it should be fine then this side clears perfectly fine, like no issues whatsoever. And I think it has the same tilt, but for some reason this is just pulled out more. And this just clears easily. And then there's the seat. <laughs> Looking good, my boy. Looking good. Fresh carpets, fresh seat. I fit in it pretty nicely. Let me get in. Ugh. Shit. So I fit pretty good. I don't know how I look. I fit pretty good. Head clearance is great. It's just when I put a helmet on, I'm kind of hitting. So if I slouch, I could do that, but I don't want to be a humpback when I'm old. So I have to figure something out. But like I said, if I take these pads out, I could rip these out. If I take them out, I should be fine. But uh, I'm about to go test drive. Oh, I also have a new shift knob. Hold on, let me see. So tell me, do you like this or 
Okay, well, never mind, because this doesn't fit, but I was going to say, do you like this? It has, like, a little Tomei thing to go on top of it, too, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get, like, some sort of adapter. But I like the silver one, so I'm going to keep the silver one for now. And, uh, yeah, so, so far, so good, man. So far, so good. Listen, baby, make sure you do all the YouTube shit. Like, comment, subscribe, turn the notifications on. Out with the old and with the new. I love y'all. TCK4L, roll to 100 kizzle. Oh, my God. We're going to get a kit soon. I love y'all, and uh, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, all right? Bye!